Lu Lin was reborn in a parallel world and originally intended to live a carefree life as a copycat, but was secretly schemed by the big star Yang Mi to participate in a love reality show dressed in wilderness survival skin. When both male and female guests in the other group were playing romantic first meet, Lu Lin was angry and cried when she met her female partner Lu Tianxian. When the other group of male and female guests were struggling to survive, Lu Lin fed Lu Tianxian 10 pounds, and Lu Tianxian cried again. When both the male and female guests in the other group were starving, Lu Lin approached the female guests in the other group with grilled crayfish and said, Madam, you don't want your husband to starve to death, do you? Unorthodox entertainment, may I smile at you keywords of the novel. Realistic male god, I cry in anger for Lu Tianxian without a pop dot up window, realistic male god, I cry in anger for Lu Tianxian. Download the complete set of TXT, Realistic Male God, I Cry in Anger for Lu Tianxian's Latest Chapters. Chapter 1 Iron and Foolish Funny Men, Blaming Yang Mi's Wife You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 Iron and Foolish Funny Men, Blaming Yang Mi's Wife A Serious and Humorous Article That Leans Towards Warm Daily Life, Hoping to Make You Smile, Mr. Lu Lin, Welcome to Participate in Men and Women Survival. The program team looks forward to your performance. A clear voice sounded in front of oneself. Lu Lin suddenly gave a jolt and immediately grinned with eight big white teeth, his smile extremely bright. At this moment, he was dressed in a haute couture suit and wearing Chelsea boots, standing on a vibrant island where everything was thriving. In front of them were several live streaming cameras, as well as filming crew members wearing assault suits, with work permits from the central television station hanging all over their chests. And the speaker is the chief director of the production team, a kind middle. Aged bald and chubby man, Gao Pang. Well, that's right. He is participating in a reality show on CCTV. A love reality show dressed in wilderness survival skin, featuring three amateur guests paired with three top-tier celebrities, in the wilderness, the scene is dirty and dirty. Lu Lin is one of the amateur guests. Mr. Lu Lin, before officially choosing a partner, let's do an interview first. Amidst Lu's awkward smile, Gao Pang continued the process and said, May I ask, what is your opinion on this program? Lu Lin pondered and blurted out, a great love show, combined with the gimmick of survival in the wilderness, is much better than that trash love show with incorrect values. After all, watching too many junk love shows and young people's views on marriage and love will only become more distorted and rural. Gradually aging parents can't even care about it, so there's no money or energy to find an ancestor to support them. And in our program, men and women work together to survive, emphasizing the importance of overcoming difficulties together. The older generation's marriage and family can be successful precisely because they possess this quality. This review is very authentic and accurate. But the audience in the online live broadcast room enjoyed watching. He really regards this program as a love show, but what he said deeply resonates with me, don't even talk about being a love show. CTV is a serious and serious national television station, don't you want face? Ha ha ha, didn't you see that Gao Pang's face has turned black? The truth has been exposed. This young man is quite handsome, but he speaks with age and looks like a middle-aged uncle what's so old-fashioned. It's not good to call it San Guan, if the core of this program is really like what he said, I can only say that it has to be from CCTV, and its performance will be extraordinary. Just focus on these three views, I followed the program. At this moment, Gao Pang's head was covered in black lines, and there was indeed an awkward feeling of being exposed. In recent years, the fertility rate has seriously declined, and young men and women of appropriate age, with various distorted rural values and lying flat in love, are simply unwilling to get married and have children. CTV also made the program in this form to correct the trend. But, see through it, don't tell through it. Hey! My interview question is to express your respect for the wilderness, not to expose the secrets of CCTV. 
Gao Peng quietly withdrew from the camera range and then frantically signaled to Lu Lin, asking him to follow the script and not deviate from the topic. Lu Lin also realized that his answer was off topic, so he blinked to indicate receipt. As a layman, he is able to participate in CCTV programs, which have stories, and he also thanks the director Gao Peng. Half a year ago, he traveled through time and was reborn. He originally wanted to become a copycat and make a fortune in this parallel world. Because he loved reading entertainment literature in his past life, he created a trial online. However, as soon as the book started to improve, a wealthy tycoon even started using Super League. A few days later, he was sued by the female protagonist Yang Mi in the book. If the book went viral, he would face huge compensation for infringement. At that time, Gao Pang was preparing for a program, perhaps because he saw relevant news and felt that Lu Lin was suitable, he personally went to persuade him to participate in the program as a layman and helped to settle the lawsuit, allowing him to receive a participation fee of 20,000 yuan. So, Lu Lin treats him as a friend and is willing to cooperate with him to do a good program. The second question, do you have any expectations for your female partner? Gao Pang continued the interview. Lu Lin nodded and said, I have some expectations. For example, what? For example, please spoil me, don't deceive me, do everything you promise me, and be sincere in every word you say to me. Don't bully me, curse me, believe me. If someone bullies me, she should come out and help me as soon as possible. I am happy now. She wants to accompany me to be happy, always thinking that I am the most handsome, and in her dreams, she can only dream of me. Well, that's all for now. I'll think of adding more later. Lu Lin stopped talking as he was still unsatisfied. Gao Pang. Dot. Film crew. Dot. Live audience. Dot. Everyone has petrified, it's hard to describe their confusion. This guy really treats the show like a love show. The key is, love affairs cannot be done like this. I just praised you for your values, so you are the most pastoral one. Ha! Huh. Gao Pang took a deep breath and dared not interview again. He quickly handed a map to Lu Lindao and said, Welcome again to this program. Now, please go find your female partner. Lu Lin put aside his joking expression, took the map with both hands, and said to the entire production team, Everyone has worked hard, and I am also honored to participate in the program. By the way, where can I collect survival equipment? Gao Pang's lips curved with schadenfreude and he said softly, the production team allows each guest to bring their own three pieces of equipment. Didn't you bring them? Lu Lin's favorable impression of this bald and chubby man suddenly decreased to a negative number. How can I bring equipment and stuff it into a four-dot dimensional flower in my attire? Speaking, he made an exaggerated gesture of pulling out the blue dragon Yenua blade from the chrysanthemum. At this moment, he is dressed in a haute couture suit and wearing Chelsea boots, exuding a noble young master's demeanor. However, his movements are too down dot to dot earth, similar to performing stand-up comedy. The female directors who used to be obsessed with flowers almost burst out laughing when they saw this. This handsome little brother looks a bit like a silly and humorous man. Gao Peng couldn't help but laugh, but he said, it's not our program team's problem that you don't bring equipment, it's your own problem. Lu Lin roast. We are playing in the love complex for CP, why are you acting like a real survivor? It's boring, Gao Dao. Gao Pang. Dot. Coming again. Can we not uncover the truth? Lu Lin saw that he was not speaking, so he had to settle for second place and half jokingly said, Do I still have time to quit the program now? Thank you to the chubby guy, he actually quite resists this program. Because I have to partner with a female partner, in front of the live broadcast camera, all kinds of backstage, romance, and dirty just thinking about it, Lu Lin felt goosebumps all over his body. The love he showed in public was still called love, despicable. Speaking of which, it's all the fault of that girl surnamed Yang. 
when we become prosperous in the future, we definitely won't end up with her. He he, I can't. Gao Pang shook his head and gave a fake smile, urging, please follow the map and find your partner. I'm serious, can I quit? You have signed a contract with our production company, are you sure you want to exit? Isn't it just a penalty for breach of contract? Let me tell you, I really can't afford to pay. Meanwhile, in the online live streaming room, Lu Lin's debut left a somewhat polarized impression on the audience. It seems that beneath his handsome appearance, there is a funny man's heart. The appearance is indeed quite dignified, but unfortunately, with a long mouth, the humorous male attributes are fully exposed. I'm most annoyed by these young people who talk one theory after another, but I'm afraid of enduring hardship and exhaustion before I even start. I don't know who his partner is, but don't be our immortal. Give him to Sister Tao. Nan willing God, bless others as immortals, and only the kind. Hearted elder sister like Tao can conceal such a mischievous young person. Why don't you give it to our Taojia? Isn't there another female guest? Let her go, that female guest is a layman, her name is Dilraba, and her partner is a top male star. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 the country has also put in a lot of effort to increase the birth rate you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 The country has also put in a lot of effort to increase the birth rate Lu Lin followed the signs on the map and walked into the island jungle where everything was competing, searching for a female partner. Behind, two live streaming cameras closely follow. As Gao Peng watched him walk away, he couldn't help but mutter, I've seen this kid's words and actions all along, exuding an iron and silly temperament. If Boss Yang insists on getting him into the car, he doesn't know if it's a blessing or a curse. The main live broadcast room should give him fewer shots and focus more on the CP footage of the other two groups of guests. Understood. Dot. The program is live broadcast 24-7 with a total of three groups of partner guests, each with their own exclusive online live broadcast room. There is also a main live broadcast room, where exciting scenes of three groups of guests can be cut and broadcasted at any time. Furthermore, CTV will also meticulously edit a program every day and broadcast it during the prime time slot at 8 o'clock. After one week, the production team will take into account various factors and eliminate a group of guests, replacing them with a new group of guests, all in a top-dot-notch and amateur style, striving to attract young audiences who pursue novelty. Well, the country has really put in a lot of effort to increase the birth rate after circling around a jungle, Lu Lin suddenly saw a bright and pristine beach. On the pristine white beach, there is a fairy wearing a pristine white dress, which is exactly Lu Tianxian that the audience doesn't want Lu Lin to choose. Are you my partner? Lu Tianxian walked barefoot on the pure white beach, her pure white dress fluttering in the sea breeze, like a banished immortal. Lu Lin meowed at her barefoot, admiring the deliciousness in his heart, but instinctively shook his head and said, No, I'm here to find teacher Bai. Goodbye. After speaking, turn around and leave. This heavenly immortal, everything is good, but his temperament is too cold and indifferent, making it difficult to serve him. Moreover, if nothing unexpected happens, the Heavenly Immortal Mother should be in the studio as a program commentator, watching the entire live broadcast. In front of the Heavenly Immortal Mother, showing affection to the Heavenly Immortal, Lu Lin just thought about it and got goosebumps all over, despicable. So, let's go find another teacher by. That kind dot hearted elder sister, regardless of her personality in private, has always been a kind-hearted elder sister's character in front of the camera, and is very suitable as a partner. Ah! Uh. Lu Tianxian blinked his beautiful eyes in confusion and looked at the photographer who was following him, asking, do the other two female guests have a teacher surnamed Bai? The cameraman shook his head and said, there's no teacher surnamed Bai, and he's your future partner. Lu Tianxian suddenly realized. Got it. This guy doesn't want to be with me. At this point, Lu Lin had already been blocked back by the photographer, 
and after the first meeting between the male and female guests, they could no longer change their minds. This is called falling in love at first sight. Ah uh ha, -huh, just a joke. Hello Teacher Lu, my name is Lu Lin, the land of Lu, the Chilin of Chilin. Lu Lin took the initiative to extend his hand and introduced himself. Lu Tianxian reached out and gently shook his hand, then suddenly said, May I ask, how do you write the name of Chilin? Lu Lin raised his eyebrows and said, What a desperate illiterate move. Teacher Lu thought I couldn't write, but that's my name. I've been using big names since I was young. I've been typing in pinyin for a long time, and I really can't write anymore. Lu Tianxian slightly raised the corner of his lips. Lu Lin immediately launched a counterattack and said, By the way, what is the name of this program? Lu Tianxian was taken aback and said, Dot. Yes, what is the name of this program? In front of the overall monitoring of the filming team, Director Gao Pang blinked his green bean eyes and reacted for a long time before finally tapping his forehead. Well, our program is called The Great Survival of Men and Women, a name approved by the Broadcasting Bureau. It's so impressive, so tall, so unforgettable at first glance in the studio, Ong Mi, who was held in grudge by Mr. Lu, was also looking at Lu's mother in a daze for a while. Well, I don't remember what the program is called, but I can pretend to remember. I was so scared that I quickly glanced at the title of the live broadcast room. It turned out that the program's name was. Hmm, let me take another look. These two people have a slightly different art style. The other two groups of guests were very romantic when they first met, surprisingly, he doesn't want to be a partner with Lu Tianxian. Has this guy been kicked in the head by a donkey? I admit, I am illiterate. Looking at the Lin characters typed in pinyin, I can't even copy them well, gone. Mom Lu, don't worry now. It's strange for Tianxian to have a chemical reaction when he meets such an iron and silly person. Teacher Lu. You don't need to be so distant. We'll have to spend a long time together in the future. You can call me Cici. Lu Tianxian was surprisingly easy to get along with, although he was cool and elegant. Lu Lin breathed a sigh of relief, as long as he could get along well. He nodded and said, hmm, you can also call me Little Deer or Little Lin Lin in the future. Okay, Mr. Lu. No need to be polite, just call me Little Deer Deer or Little Lin Lin. Dot. No problem, Mr. Lu. Okay, don't force it. Lu Lin gave up his extravagant hope of dragging the heavenly immortal down to earth and turned to look at the travel bag behind her, asking, Teacher Lu, what survival equipment have you brought with you? Lu Tianxian shook his head lightly and said, My bag is full of clothes and toiletries. As for survival equipment, shouldn't it be brought by men? This statement, taken for granted, exudes a pastoral charm. Lu Lin smashed his mouth and decisively stopped talking. He was afraid that he would not be able to resist and scold this top-tier celebrity in front of the live broadcast camera. You're not my daughter, and I'm not your father either. Why must I think of you everywhere? Lu Tianxian could feel disgusted, but he didn't realize how pastoral his words were. Seeing his appearance, he couldn't help but frown and say, What's wrong with you? Lu Lin took a deep breath, suppressed the urge to provoke others, and smiled, You are a fairy. You should be able to eat wind and drink dew, and you can hold on for a week without any problem, right? Lu Tianxian was slightly stunned and said, As a man, you didn't bring survival equipment, did you? Lu Lin blurted out, Give me a kiss first. Lu Tianxian. Ah. Lu Lin. As a lady, since you want to rely on me as a man to survive, you haven't had the consciousness to give birth to monkeys for me, have you? Lu Tianxian. Dot. Director's camera. Dot. This logic seems to be fine. Ah uh ha, -huh, just a joke. Sorry, Teacher Lu. I was too nervous when I came, and all my survival gear and luggage were on the flight. This is my fault. 
you can apply to the program team to change partners, I don't mind. Lu Lin turned the conversation around and explained sincerely, while flipping through his pockets and taking out a box of cigarettes and a Zippo lighter. Ding, hiss, Lu Lin lit a cigarette and then pouted his butt, leaned forward and took a big bite to relieve the bursting pain in his brain. Is it God who, seeing me lying flat after being reborn and living a comfortable life, deliberately threw me here to be tortured by a rural woman. Speaking of which, we shouldn't let the heavens take the blame. It's still the fault of that young girl. When we become prosperous in the future, we definitely won't end up with her. P.S. The new book has been uploaded and the signing process is already underway. For those who have passed by, please click on the bookmark and vote. My writing style is limited, I hope I can make you smile, colorful. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Playing with laughter and crying at Lu Tianxian, the cause of Yang Mi's calculation you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3 Playing with laughter and crying at Lu Tianxian, the cause of Yang Mi's calculation Lu Tianxian once again realized that he had been despised, but at the same time, he was also stunned by Lu Lin's strange smoking posture and said in shock, Are you? Lu Lin pointed to the high dot end suit on his body and said, Armani, it's expensive. If cigarette ash falls and burns a hole, a small car will burn out. The high dot end supervisor will definitely make me sell my butt for compensation. Lu Tianxian's lips twitched and said, Can't you stop smoking? No, even if you sell your butt, you can't stop sucking. Dot. Puhaha. Should this guy be so down dot to dot earth? Not just down dot to dot earth, this simple and straightforward, I don't know if it's the newcomer Xiao Xianro that the company is promoting, but also too iron and naive. People are not iron and silly, they are real. Armani's high expectations can easily exceed a hundred, who can afford it? The little fresh meat smoking on the CCTV program, this is no longer a bouncing dance in a minefield, it's a bouncing dance in the Yen Wang Palace. What are you afraid of? If it's broadcasted on TV later, the program team will definitely edit it. As an old smoker, I understand comrade Xia Linlin that even if you sell your butt, you can't stop smoking, first time meeting, no respect, please accept it. Lu Tianxian had no intention of changing partners, so he took off a slender gift box from the side of his travel bag and handed it to Lu Lindao with both hands. Lu Lin was stunned for a moment. In the script given by the production team beforehand, there was a section for exchanging meeting gifts. Uh, thank you. Open it and take a look, I hope you like it. Then I'll give you a gift too, don't be too shabby. Dot. Lu Lin took out two pieces of chewing gum from his pocket and stuffed them into Lu Tianxian's hand. Then, regardless of her expression, he opened the long gift box and looked at it on his own. It's an antique eight-sided Han sword. The scabbard equipment is extremely gorgeous. This gift is probably not disliked by any man. Of course, Lu Lin was no exception. He couldn't put it down and played with Lu Tianxian twice, and then thanked him again, thank you, Mr. Lu. Um, what's wrong with you? He lifted his head and realized that Lu Tianxian was still in the position of fragrant candy on his interface, without moving for a long time, with only cold and beautiful eyes that slightly turned red. Are you actually going to cry? Well, Lu Tianxian never participated in reality shows before, but this time he agreed due to an invitation from CTV. Since I haven't participated before, I have some expectations or anxieties, so I prepared very carefully. This Han sword is her beloved item, and she made a great decision to use it as a gift for the show. As a result, despite being frequently criticized, she gave away her beloved sword, thinking it could ease the atmosphere, but in exchange for two pieces of chewing gum. Still extremely perfunctory chewing gum. How can this make her angry? I lost it, this grandson really wants to take over the underworld, causing the immortal sister to cry. Don't stop me, Lin Bei is going to chop this dog in dot. The other two groups of male guests are both thinking about how to make their female partners happy. 
This one is great. I wonder which entertainment company's quirky guy even sent him to the programs on CTV for promotion, he doesn't want to quit, does he? I strongly recommend the program team to quickly change guests at the beginning. Fatty guy, we know you're watching, change guests immediately. Agree, quickly change dot. In the studio, Lou's mother looked at her daughter and was so angry that she wanted to cry. Her face had completely turned black. Young Meat secretly grinned her red lips, and her beautiful legs kept crossing each other unnaturally. The three female guests in the program, apart from Tian Xian and Teacher Bai, are the newcomer Dilraba, whom her company is promoting. She also came to become a program commentator in name of Dilraba. But in fact, she came to land with Lu Lin, and it was her own operation that allowed Lu Lin to appear on the show. A few days ago, she was browsing novel websites and wanted to find suitable internet articles for adapting movies and TV shows. By chance, she came across Lu Lin's entertainment article with her as the female lead, so she took a few curious glances. Then, out of control, it was both shameful and addictive to watch. Finally, it's a Super League game, combined with Lu Lin's private ball, all kinds of tricks to catch up. When the leader of the alliance offered a reward, of course, Lu Lin was willing to add more, and it was his grandson who didn't add more. After a while, the two of them got to know each other well. Boss Yang wanted to add scenes to himself in the book, and even more so, he wanted Lu Lin to describe her perfectly. However, Lu Lin didn't know that she was the female protagonist in the book, so he naturally refused to change the female protagonist's setting. The iron and silly personality, combined with the humorous man's personality, was undoubtedly exposed, and he often refuted Yang's suspicion of life. After a long time, Mr. Yang discovered that Lu Lin was not only a silly and humorous man, but also quite impressive. Even the original music works written in the book could be sung, and short videos could be recorded to share with book friends. He was talented and did not show any stage fright. Also, the appearance looks quite similar. Boss Yang was moved by his love for talent and suggested that he is a relevant practitioner who can help Lu Lin introduce an entertainment company to release records. But as the result can be imagined, Lu Lin refused without hesitation and bluntly said, in the entertainment industry like a cesspool, even dogs won't go. These words cursed Mr. Yang deeply, and despite her inner anger, she didn't give up trying a few times, but was still sternly rejected. In the end, she was really annoyed and said, you don't want to enter the entertainment industry, so I let you in. When you taste the sweetness, you should come back and beg me. Coincidentally, her Jia Xing Tianxia is collaborating with Gao Pang's variety show studio to create Men and Women Survive for CTV. So, she let go and sued, making Lu Lin's novel pornographic, who asked you not to write me perfectly, facing huge compensation for reputation rights, and then making Gao Pang blush and inviting Lu Lin to the program. But now it seems that Lu Lin's iron and silly personality is really not suitable for the entertainment industry. Even within 10 minutes of the reality show, it actually made Lu Tianxian cry. Lu's mother next to her had a murderous aura in her eyes. If she knew this iron and silly person, she would have arranged it into the program and would have to scold her. In front of the overall monitoring of the filming team, Gao Pang looked at the fried Lu Lu exclusive live broadcast room and couldn't help but hold his hand to his forehead, saying, I just said this kid is strange. His words and actions don't seem like a good person. Fortunately, the main live broadcast room didn't show any footage of them, otherwise it would be even more difficult. Hurry up, look for new guest candidates and change guests before noon. Well, Boss Yang should be able to understand. At the same time, Lu Lin looked at Lu Tianxian, who was about to cry in anger, and felt a bit confused. Oh my god! how could I give chewing gum as a gift? It's just for fun, the real gift is in my mind. I really don't know, you are a person who loves to be serious, otherwise I would kill you and I wouldn't dare to tease you. Can you stop crying? I won't despise you anymore. It's okay if he didn't say these words. 
As soon as Lu Tianxian said these words, he moved to Bung Bu and Jin Duzi said, You really despise me. What's there to make you despise me? Lu Lin, dot. A broad brain hurts a lot. What's the most troublesome thing about coaxing women? Can't we both starve quietly for seven days and then go home separately? P.S. The next chapter is coming soon. Irons, please bookmark it and make a bubble. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Is an ancient poem that curls up all over, but unfortunately, immortals like it. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 is an ancient poem that curls up all over, but unfortunately, immortals like it. The fall of Lu Tianxian's golden beans left the cameramen who were filming the live broadcast confused. The reality shows they have filmed are not ordinary, but like Lu Lin, who is as stubborn and silly, she makes the female guests cry when they first meet, not to mention not having seen it, not even listening to it. Dang! At this moment, Lu Lin suddenly picked up his Han sword and lightly flicked it, singing loudly, Once upon a time, there was a beautiful woman like a fairy, wielding her sword in all directions. The onlookers were as dejected as the mountains, and heaven and earth remained low for so long. He has an excellent voice, with just four lines of poetry that make him sing grandiose and majestic, with a majestic aura that covers the sky. Lu Tianxian was taken aback and stopped sobbing. Her sword dancing videos have indeed been trending on the internet, and many people in and outside the industry are praising them. And these two heroic poems, full of ancient charm, can withstand 10,000 praises and truly scratch her itch. So it seems that this iron fool is not without a gift, he has prepared it with heart. Also, is there anything else? Lu Tianxian wiped his tears and hesitated to ask. Only four sentences, it's not satisfying enough to listen to. Seeing that she stopped crying, Lu Lin breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. He once again played his sword and sang, There are eight thousand beauties in the entertainment group, and the heavenly immortal sword dance is the best. Her red lips and pearl sleeves are lonely, and I and the heavenly immortal shed our war robes. The lotus tent warms triple X. Go to hell. The more Lu Tianxian listened, the more unpleasant it became. The wheels of the car turned against his face and he kicked Lu Lin's buttocks in embarrassment and anger. She could tell that this guy didn't have a serious time, he was a solid and silly guy with a funny guy. Lu Lin dodged the kick and said in a coquettish tone, You're laughing, don't cry anymore. When you want to cry, Stand on your head so that tears won't flow down. Lu Tianxian was so amused by his funny tone that he almost burst out laughing. He wrinkled his chiong nose and said, Oh dot. Lu Lin shook his head and said seriously, When you want to cry, stand upside down. Don't snort with your nose like this, otherwise tears will flow into your eyes before they reach the heavens. Puff. Cluck cluck. Lu Tianxian couldn't help but burst into tears and smiled, coquettishly saying, You're really not serious. Can't you give me a good poem as a gift to give back to me? As long as you don't cry. Lu Lin nodded and put away his joking expression, carefully playing his sword and singing, Once upon a time, there was a beautiful woman like a fairy, wielding a sword weapon. Like thunder to calm down anger, like Jiang Haining's clear light. I picked it up, this iron and silly guy is actually quite good at coaxing girls. A poem made the immortal blush with praise. The heavenly immortal smiled with tears in his eyes, the true spring breeze turns into rain. Be careful not to be dirty, old man, where does he look at ancient poetry? His artistic attainments are very high, at least three or four floors high, the big deal is not good. Although these two people are not romantic, they look even sweeter. I retract my previous words. The cold nature of the celestial being makes me inexplicably react chemically when encountering such a funny man. Now Lu's mother needs to worry about her daughter being abducted and run away in front of the overall monitoring of the filming team, Gao Pang looked at the skyrocketing number of viewers in Lu Lu's live broadcast room and couldn't help but exclaim, 
Boss Young really has a unique vision. His appearance on the program was an unexpected explosion in variety shows. A director said, Director Gao, the new guest has been contacted. When will they be replaced? Gao Peng waved his hand and said, change the hammer, don't change it. Hurry up and switch to the main live broadcast room to broadcast what just happened in Lu Lu's live broadcast room. These two people's CPs are going to be popular. Inside the CTV studio. Lu's mother, who had previously had a dark face, was now just like her daughter and was amused by Lu Lin. She couldn't help but laugh and said, this young man is quite cheerful. He has rare talent and can write poetry. With him as her partner, Xi Shi doesn't have to worry either. She may not perform well in her first reality show. Yang Mi smiled and nodded beside her, but there was no trace of a smile in the fox's eyes. Both mother and daughter are very fond of Lu Lin, which makes her heart ache uncontrollably. After all, Lu Lin was discovered by her time flies back a month ago, Lu Lin's entertainment article featuring Yang Mi as the female lead has not yet been sued by Yang Mi. At that time, Yang Mi really liked that entertainment book and couldn't help but love it. Because the male protagonist in the book, to some extent, is completely her dream life partner, talented and capable of supporting her career, yet willing to be ordinary and able to provide her with long-term companionship. She couldn't think of a more perfect life partner than that. She even became irritable and questioned Lu Lin because he did not provide a detailed description of the male lead's love affair with her in the book. It wasn't until Lu Lin made an exception and rewrote chapters for her and her book friends, sharing them in the book group, that she was satisfied. After she finished reading the rewritten chapter, there were many other works related to it in the group, which had already aroused her interest. They are all short videos, with titles featuring original music written in the book. Yang Mi tried to open a video and watch it, titled, The Moon Represents My Heart, and sang a segment to show off her embarrassment. She has a deep impression of this song, with simple yet romantic and gentle lyrics. It is the original song sung by the male lead in the book when he fell in love with her. The video slowly plays, and in the camera is a simple and tidy rural courtyard with an ugly and cute countryside dog tied at the entrance. That surprised Yang Mi isn't the male protagonist in the book also living in the countryside, raising an ugly and cute countryside dog. Is it true that art comes from life? Slightly leaning, a man wearing yellow jeans and a spring hoodie walked up to the camera with a guitar and sat on the ground, revealing the true face of Mount Lu. A man in his twenties, with wheat-colored skin, medium-length men's hair, a faint smile on his face, very friendly and eye-dot-catching. But Yang Mi watched as her toes curled up, wishing she could carve out a three-bedroom living room on the carpet. Oh my goodness, isn't this the male lead depicted in the book? I am so ashamed to explode while reading and fantasizing. How deep do you love me? How much do I love you? My emotions are true, my love is also true, the moon represents my heart a gentle kiss has touched my heart, a deep affection the man didn't talk too much nonsense, and after sitting down, he started playing and singing on his own. He doesn't play the guitar very well, just a beginner's level. He lowers his head and is fully focused on plucking the strings, but he still occasionally makes mistakes. But the voice is really good, as mellow as wine, and when singing lightly, it is truly captivating. The poor guitar accompaniment is actually unnecessary. The title of the video is, Shame on the Ugly Sing a Section, and the man only sings one section. Yang Mi just inserted herself into the female lead, and before she could enjoy it, the singing had already stopped. Dear readers, you are not allowed to leave messages or curse people in the future. Are you still a powerful faction? Who are you cursing? We are a serious idol faction. After the man stopped singing, he put down an inappropriate joke and the video ended. Yang Mi was amused to a burst of joy. But soon, she was aroused and her pretty face gradually turned red. This person is really the male lead in the book. Equally talented. Both are friendly and easy going. I love to tease and joke. P.S. 
Come on, collect and bubble. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 the smoke and fire in the human world, no more than this you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 The smoke and fire in the human world, no more than this, poetry, you seem quite satisfied after listening to it. Now, let's get down to business. After reciting the entire poem, Sword and Weapon, Lu Lin saw Lu Tianxian dizzy and mesmerized, so he thrust his Han sword into the sand and began to take off his clothes in a hurry. Lu Tianxian was startled by his posture, and his pretty face turned red as he took two steps back and exclaimed in shock, What are you doing? The directors and cameras were also dumbfounded, looking at each other and hesitating whether to stop them. What do you want, big brother? After reading a poem, I want to talk to Lu Tianxian, who is so influential, he he. Even if this is really a love show, there's no reason to do it that way. It's not really that you two got married. In the astonishment of Lu Tianxian and the photographers, Lu Lin quickly took off his full clothes, leaving only a pair of shy pink shorts and Chelsea boots on his feet. Return the clothes to you. From now on, they're torn and can't rely on me anymore. Lu Lin handed the high.end Armani in shirt to a cameraman, feeling relieved and burdened. Then, looking at Lu Tianxian with a guarded face, he said with a smile, I'm not a fool. Can you put away the perverted gaze, Teacher Lu? Lu Tianxian suddenly regained his senses, his gaze fixed on his pink panties. The guarded expression on his pretty face not only did not diminish, but also became more solemn. Lu Lin couldn't help but laugh and cry, and could only explain, I came from my zodiac year and bought my red shorts online at night. I didn't expect them to turn pink after washing them with two drops of water, so I had to make do with them. Lu Tianxian was stunned for a moment. After his guard faded, he burst out laughing and said, Pup, cluck. You're really. You're really poor enough, aren't you? Lu Lin took over the conversation and mockingly lifted the Chelsea boots on his feet, saying, These are also street vendors. They cost 40 yuan per pair, and they've been wearing them for just two days and they're almost unbound. Lu Tianxian's laughter stopped and he quickly waved his hand, saying, No, I didn't mean that. Of course, Lu Lin knew she didn't mean that. With a smile, he pulled out his Han sword and strode towards the dense jungle outside the beach, saying, Hurry up and get things done. Lu Tianxian generally understood what was going on in his mouth. He looked at his oversized travel bag and said in silence, Aren't you helping me carry my bag? Lu Lin Tu didn't respond either. Teacher Lu, is his hands and feet sound? Lu Tianxian. Dot. In the CTV studio, Yang Mi looked at the live broadcast footage, and Lu Lin couldn't get used to Lu Tianxian at all. Without realizing it, she breathed a sigh of relief and her red lips curved slightly. This is the iron and silly person I met online. Come on, stay true to yourself. Meanwhile, Lu's mother beside her couldn't help but feel heartbroken as she saw her daughter struggling and said, although it's important for partners to survive and overcome difficulties together, this young man really doesn't hurt anyone. Yang Mi immediately nodded and followed the derogatory tone, saying, he's just a simple and straightforward person. If a woman gets close to him, she'll be unlucky for eight lifetimes. Well, you mother and daughter don't like it the best. This is the future king of music that our company has booked. This iron fool, dare you not be a bit impolite and help the heavenly immortal carry his bag to die. The other two groups of male guests did everything they could, taking care of their female partners in various ways. This one is great, he's a rotten guy. Gao Pang, please spare our heavenly immortal and quickly replace him. I can only say that this brother is actually a role model for our generation, truly excessive. Suddenly understanding him, why don't you want to partner with the heavenly immortal? Not selling warm man's clothing, there's really no need to serve the heavenly immortal as a grandson. Understanding plus one, as he himself said, life is already difficult, why bother to offer up another ancestor? To be flawless is to be flawless. 
If you don't want to participate in the program, quit early. There are many men who want to serve as immortals in our family. Before the overall monitoring of the production team, Director Gao Pang's gaze wandered back and forth on the three live broadcast cameras. The other two groups of male and female guests in the live broadcast room were both warm and romantic, with fans all chewing on candy, just like the rhythm of a love show. But when it came to Lu Lu's live broadcast room, the art style changed, with barrage of intense discussions and even debates. Fairy fans and passers-by audiences, each holding their own opinions. The number of viewers has exceeded 500,000, which is more than the other two live streaming rooms combined. I'm like a blind cat running into a dead mouse. The leader's instruction to correct the bad habits has to rely on this iron and silly mouse to achieve it. Gao Pang muttered in silence, then loudly said, in the main live broadcast room, cut through the interactive shots of Lu Lu CP. Lu Tianxian accepted his fate and picked up his oversized travel bag, swaying and treading on the beach to chase after Lu Lin. Bag, it's really heavy. At this moment, Lu Lin emerged from the beach and had arrived outside the jungle. After looking left and right for a moment, he turned around and asked, Teacher Lu, this sword is for me as a gift. I will use it to chop trees, won't it be impolite? He has straightened his mind, but when it comes to matters that concern the heavens and immortals, he asks first before doing anything, so as not to provoke crying or coaxing again. Lu Tianxian panted and shook his head, we don't have survival equipment, we can only use it. Lu Lin nodded and strode to a small tree with a thick wrist, then swung his arm away and swung his sword to chop. Shua, pa de de, sword light flashed by, and the small tree fell. Lu Tianxian grinned his cherry lips and said, the strength is quite strong. One sword breaks the tree. Lu Lin dragged the small tree out of the bushes, pulled it to the bright spot where the heavenly immortal stood, and then cut off the crown and branches of the small tree. Then, he picked up the tender branches that had been cut off and began to carefully peel off the bark, which was one finger wide. As long as the branches were, they were peeled off. Can Mr. Lu make fried dough twists braids? Lu Lin peeled the bark of the tree and asked Lu Tianxian, whose long hair was fluttering. Lu Tianxian nodded and said, Of course I will. Lu Lin handed over the peeled tender branches and said, Then could you please weave some short ropes? Lu Tianxian wanted to say, Are you sound with your hands and feet, but thinking that what Lu Lin is doing now is not just for himself, he swallowed the words back in frustration. At this moment, she understood Lu Lin's temperament and didn't show any affectation. She took the tender twig skin and tried to weave a rope. However, with the hair growing on her head, she skillfully weaved and held the tender twig skin in her hand, but her weaving was somewhat awkward, twisted and twisted, like a greedy snake. To do work, one must learn to find the tricks. Lu Lin shook his head and took the bark rope from her hand. He stepped on the twisted part of the woven rope and straightened it with a little force before weaving it down. If you step on the end of the rope with your feet, it's like having your hair growing on your head and having a point of focus. When weaving, apply a little bit of pulling force and it will go straight. He demonstrated while teaching tips. Lu Tianxian approached and nodded while listening and watching. Slightly leaning, she took two more tender twig skins, tied a knot, pinched them with her toes, and sat next to him learning to weave. She is actually a girl, used to braiding, but when she found the trick, she was able to braid quickly and well, surpassing Lu Lin as a demonstration. This scene is really like my brother teaching my sister dot in dot law how to play with electronic devices at home, inexplicably resembling a little married couple. Not pretentious, but warm and simple. I feel goosebumps when I see it. The fireworks in the world are incomparable. This pure natural malt candy is much sweeter than the industrial saccharin deliberately created by the other two groups of partners, do I think it's funny that this iron and silly guy is wearing pink shorts and Chelsea leather shoes, just me. Passing by with a smile on my face. P.S. The signing was successful, there will be another chapter later, please save it.
End of this chapter. Chapter 6. Lu Tianxian Crazy, I'll scratch you to death, you annoying ghost. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6. Lu Tianxian Crazy, I'll scratch you to death, you annoying ghost. Seeing that Lu Tianxian was better at weaving than himself, Lu Lin stopped showing off and handed over the work of weaving ropes to her, while he continued to chop down small trees. Shua, 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 one sword, one small sapling. Half an hour later, Lu Lin was sweating profusely and had already chopped down a pile of tree trunks, varying in thickness and length. And Lu Tianxian has also woven dozens of short tree bark ropes. Here's a tissue for you. Lu Tianxian took out a tissue from his travel bag and handed it to Lu Lin, gesturing for him to wipe his sweat. Lu Lin was slightly stunned and said with a hint of resentment, I brought a tissue. I just played big, why didn't you say it? That tree leaf, rubbing against my butt still hurts. Lu Tianxian suppressed his smile and shrugged, you didn't ask either. No wonder the Jade Emperor demoted you to the mortal world. Your immortal heart is black, your belly is black, said Lu Lin with a silent smack, who made you cry at me earlier. I will still cry for you in anger sooner or later. Hing dot. Lu Tianxian raised his chin and let out a cold and coquettish snort, with a hint of disdain, as if saying, I have seen through you, what can I do? How about building a nest here facing the sea? Lu Lin said, pointing to the sea Lu Tianxian nodded and said, you put in your effort, of course you make the decision. Her mentality is really right, and she doesn't make any demands for things she can't do on her own. And even if it's mentioned, this iron and silly person won't get used to her, mostly still going their own way. Go ahead. Dot. Lu Lin stopped talking nonsense and drew the range of the foundation in this open area facing the sea. Then, he picked up a short tree trunk as long as a human leg and as thick as a thigh, cut a tip with a Han sword, and inserted it into a corner of the foundation. Then, looking for a big stone, he greeted Lu Tianxian and said, stretch out your hand and help us start piling. Lu Tianxian was busy folding up the hem of his dress and squatting, holding onto the wooden stake with both hands. Lu Lin held onto the big stone, took a deep breath, and sang and chanted, we workers have strength, hey dot. Dong, the big stone hit the top of the wooden pile, and the tip of the lower end fell half a foot into the ground. With the rebound force, Lu Lin picked up the big stone again and then smashed it again. Our workers are busy with work, hey dot. Dong, our workers are sweating, hey dot. Dong, transforming the world has changed, hey dot. Dong, several times in a row, the wooden stake has been halfway into the ground. Lu Tianxian was influenced by Lu Lin and unconsciously fell into his rhythm, shouting, hey, and cheering on. The four photographers were delighted to see it. Not to mention, it's quite reminiscent of the praises of workers and peasants from back then. Lu Lin put down the stone, shook it left and right to pull out the wooden stake, and then inserted it into the other corner of the foundation, allowing the heavenly immortal to hold it with both hands and continue driving the stake. Lu Tianxian's arms were numb from the shock, and seeing him sweating profusely, he couldn't help but say, be careful, don't dodge your old waist. Lu Lin said, don't worry, my waist is fine. After the two finished speaking, they realized that the conversation was strange, with strange expressions and a glance at each other what did I hear? Are these two people driving, you heard me right, and it's the heavenly immortal who stepped on the gas first. The heavenly immortal has been misled by this iron and silly person, driving on CCTV's program, these two people are real criminals. If it's really a young couple and the atmosphere is here, they should find a secluded place. He 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 he. Inside the CTV studio. Yang Mi listened to the conversation in Lu Lu's live broadcast room and covered her red lips with a smile, saying, pup, cough, cough. Lu's mother was beside her, but her charming and pretty face turned red, and she felt uncomfortable all over. You young people, you are really inexplicable. 
As the old saying goes, working with a partner is not tiring. With the support of Lu Tianxian, Lu Lin sweated profusely in dug pile holes at the four corners of the foundation. Then, from the chopped tree trunk, he picked four arms thick ones, too long and too short. Two long ones, make front door pillars. Two short ones are used as rear wall pillars. After inserting four pile holes, let the heavenly immortals straighten them one by one. Lu Lin filled the gaps in the pile holes with sand and compacted them one by one. The four low dot bearing columns were finally completed. Next, we will build the roof frame and lay the purlins, which will require the use of Lu Tianxin's previously woven tree bark short rope. The two of them worked together in an orderly manner, and the framework of a small hut gradually took shape. Lu Tianxian has never done such a thing before, initially just passively attacking Lu Lin. Slowly, she seemed to have found joy and took the initiative to climb up and down to help lay the purlins. Finally, seeing that wearing a dress with bare feet was inconvenient, I decided to dive into the jungle and ask a female director to help me cool down. I changed into a comfortable sports hoodie and put on travel shoes that were easy to move. Then with great enthusiasm, I threw myself back into the construction process. The two of them worked tirelessly for an hour and a half before finally building the framework of the small shed. It's a very simple and cramped kind, not as good as Lu Lin, who was guarding the melon fields in the countryside a few days ago and casually built a sleeping hut. But at this time, there were no convenient tools, not even a single nail, and the building materials were still freshly cut. It was not easy to build them. Furthermore, he was not satisfied, but Lu Tianxian was very satisfied. With his hands crossed over his small waist, he looked up and down at the frame of the shack, his cool and pretty face exuding a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. What's the next step? Lu Tianxian was eager to try and looked at Lu Lin and asked. Lu Lin looked left and right, grabbed a green grass from the bushes, and chewed it in his mouth. Lu Tianxian thought he was hungry, so he picked wild vegetables to satisfy his hunger. He immediately followed suit and picked the same green grass, trying to put it in his mouth and chew it. But before she could chew it twice, an unbearable and extreme bitterness spread in her mouth. Her delicate features were so bitter that she instantly shrank into a ball, and her delicate body was trembling with excitement. You dot. Lu Tianxian couldn't bear it anymore and vomited. Lu Lin smiled incessantly, spitting out the crushed green grass in his palm and saying, Give me your hand. Lu Tianxian spat out saliva and waited for the bitterness in his mouth to subside before saying speechless and helpless, Don't tease me, okay? Lu Lin shook his head and explained with a smile, I didn't tease you. In my hometown, it's called Kukukau. When I was a child, I would bump into it or get mosquito bites. The elderly would chew it up and apply it for anti-inflammatory and antibacterial purposes. I see you just set up a shed and got a lot of small wounds on your hands. Let's wipe them off. Lu Tianxian blushed and knew he had misunderstood him, so he obediently extended his hands. Originally a white and tender heavenly immortal jade hand, there were indeed many small wounds still emitting blood. People who frequently work may have calluses on their hands and know how to do it smoothly, but they rarely get injured. Like a celestial being, he doesn't touch the spring water with his ten fingers on weekdays and suddenly goes to work. He can't bear the delicate tender meat and can't do it properly. Scratches and scratches are inevitable. It's rare that she didn't have any coquettishness and was always helping throughout, which made Lu Lin look much better at her. Does it hurt to wipe like this? It's okay. Do you find it dirty when I chew it up and spit it out? A bit. I saw that when you were holding a tissue earlier, there was a bottle of white medicine in your travel bag. It should have been prepared for you by Aunt Lu, right? Dot. Lu Tianxian was momentarily stunned, and then reached out to scratch Lu Lin's face, like a crazy woman. You didn't remind me earlier when you saw it, and you deliberately disgusted me, tickling you to death. P.S. Alright, 
we need your support for the new book. If it looks good, why not give it some support? Flower tickets for rewards, just leave a comment, it's okay. Sending a new book is just a matter of anxiety, uh, end of this chapter. Chapter 7 The Jade Emperor was eated poor and demoted to the mortal world as a heavenly immortal you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7 The Jade Emperor was eated poor and demoted to the mortal world as a heavenly immortal on 10,000 methods to make the cold immortal crazy, today, the heavenly immortal may have used up all his expressions for a year. Who said it's not? It's crying, it's crazy, and even the fairy tale has collapsed. The man who dares to tease Lu Tianxian is definitely the first to be so silly, I see these two people complement each other's personalities, they really match well. Let's give them a CP name for someone with a high level of culture. Still using it, of course it's a fairy beast CP, heavenly immortals paired with beasts, deer and chilin are also fairy beasts. A language with multiple levels, very good, accurate. In the CTV studio, Lu's mother looked at her daughter and was amused by Lu Lin to the point of madness. However, she smiled incessantly and said, Cece is really lucky to have such a partner. Yang Mi, who was standing beside her, was taken aback by these words and exclaimed in shock, You're lucky. You're almost crying again. Lu's mother looked at another program commentator who looked like a transparent person and said, Teacher Zhu Chang, how do you evaluate Lu Lin as a young man? Well, there is actually a program commentator in the studio who was specially invited by Gao Pang as a wilderness survival expert. He is in his forties and has dark skin. He is short and has a big beard, named Zhu Chang. But perhaps it was his first time appearing on a CTV program, and he was a bit nervous. When Lu's mother talked to Yang Mi, he never dared to interrupt, sitting on a background board that looked like a human figure. At this moment, Lu's mother threw the topic to him, allowing him to find the topic. She then opened the conversation and said, I have strong hands. On ability and rich life experience. Young people like me nowadays are rare in the city, and even in the countryside, it is actually difficult to find them. For example, he chewed bitter grass juice and applied the wound on Miss Lu's hand, which is indeed a common healing method used by the elderly, and I also often use it in the wild. The scientific name of Kukukau, I remember, seems to be called Xuanzinlian. It is a serious traditional Chinese medicine that has anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and detoxifying properties. Miss Lu was fortunate to have him as her partner. Even if they don't have proper survival equipment, they are much stronger than the other two groups. The last sentence is suspected of roast. But both Lu's mother and Yang Mi nodded in agreement. Because the men from the other two groups of guests were both creating a warm dot up atmosphere to make their female partners happy, without putting their minds into survival. It's getting dark now, and when it's tired, thirsty, and hungry, I'm afraid we'll have a lot of fun. Shua, 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 Lu Lin waved his Han sword and chopped off one banana leaf after another. On tropical islands, the most abundant one is the banana tree, with leaves larger than humans. If you want to save time, you can use a bed under your body and a blanket on your body. Using it on a shed is also a good material for sheltering from wind and rain. Lu Tianxian, like a obedient little daughter dot in dot law, kept picking up the chopped banana leaves from behind and collecting them together. After the previous construction of the shed framework, she already understood. All you need to do is do what you can, don't play coquettish on the basis of a woman's identity. Lu Lin is still easy to get along with and knows how to take care of his partner. He is by no means stubborn and naive. His iron innocence is more of a reality, and he doesn't want to put in too much effort to deal with many things. Well, commonly known as lying flat or lying flat. Ah ha ha ha. Lu Lin's unique laughter starting with an ah suddenly echoed through the banana grove. Lu Tianxian looked up and saw that Lu Lin was smiling happily, holding a handful of yellow-orange bananas and walking towards her. This is rare, because it's not yet the season, 
and the bananas in the entire banana forest are still lush green. It's just as difficult to find ripe and edible ones, but it's hard to win the first prize in the lottery. We're lucky. Lu Lin swayed the banana in front of the heavenly immortal, with a smug and smug appearance, like a fool picking up sheep feces and eggs on the roadside. Lu Tianxian suppressed his smile and curled his lips, saying, you haven't eaten bananas before. As for being so happy. Lu Lin said, then don't eat if you have the ability. Lu Tianxian pursed his cherry lips and said, if you don't eat, then you won't. It's impossible, I'm also hungry. Cut I thought you could really eat wind and drink dew. Lu Lingguan gave her a disappointed look, then counted the number of bananas carefully and asked, how many can you eat? Lu Tianxian reached out a jade hand covered in small wounds on Baba Lai Lai, flipping inside and out. Lu Lin's face twitched and he said, you can't just eat wind and drink dew. Surprisingly, you're still a glutton. I think the Jade Emperor demoted you to the mortal world because he was eaten poor. Lu Tianxian blushed and said, you're just a foodie. How small are these naturally growing bananas? They only take one in two bites. First, building the framework of the shed, and then collecting banana leaves, the consumption is very high, and eating too much is normal. Lu Lin divided the whole banana in half and said, there are a total of fifteen, one half seven, one half eight. You can't count which half you choose. You can't count which half you choose. It's up to luck. Speaking, he carried both halves of the banana to his back. Lu Tianxian was about to tilt his head and count, but couldn't help but frown and say, then I'll choose the left hand. Lu Lin smiled at the corner of his mouth and took out half a handful of bananas from his left hand. Lu Tianxian stretched his head and counted carefully before immediately saying, two wins in three games. Lu Lin shrugged nonchalantly, carrying both hands behind her and repeatedly changing hands on both halves of the banana, gesturing for her to choose again. Lu Tianxian Choose the left side. Lu Lin's smile deepened at the corner of his mouth, and his left hand extended out, revealing seven bananas. Lu Tianxian frowned and said, three wins in five innings. Lu Lin smacked his lips and said, this is the last time, again, again, no more. Speaking, he carried the banana back to his back and repeatedly changed hands. After Lu Tianxian waited for him to stop, he gritted his silver teeth and said, this time I chose the right. Not right, I still chose the left, um, still the left. Lu Lin smiled and extended his left hand, still holding seven bananas. Lu Tianxian furrowed his Cheong nose in distress and said, you're really lacking in manners. Can't you let me know for a moment? Lu Lin shook his head and stuffed seven bananas into her hand, saying, life is in this world and we must not let down beautiful food. Can beauties disappoint? Of course not. So why don't you let me? You beauty, you're too far away from me. After the show, we're strangers. Why should we let go? Dot. Ha ha ha, I just realized that the heavenly immortal is so clumsy. This sun thief is holding two and a half bananas in both hands, and regardless of which hand the heavenly immortal guesses, he will give the missing half. Iron silly, N.O. Pretend to be a pig and eat a tiger, Y.S.E. Compared to him, the heavenly immortal looks like a silly little girl. The cameraman and director are not authentic, they didn't even remind the heavenly immortal. Truly, I am a model of our generation. I refuse to let the heavenly immortal down at all. Actually, he's right. After getting off the show, the two of them had no social interaction. Just have fun now. Collecting, requesting tickets, the new book period is said to be very important. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Which, call me brother. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 Which, Call me brother. Under the blue sky and white clouds, the warm breeze is gentle along the coast. Bark, the world's journey is long, 
an infatuation is the most boring. Get rid of your troubles as soon as possible. Bark, sing a happy tune. I'm not a fairy, I understand the joy of being carefree. Bark, I was knocked down by my youth, and the spring breeze with laughter shook hard, shaking and shaking, and the flying flowers swayed with the white clouds. Lu Lin carried large bundles of banana leaves on his shoulders, and in one hand, he held naturally growing sour and sweet bananas, humming while walking and eating. Lu Tianxian followed behind, holding a sheathed Han sword in one hand and a sour and sweet banana in the other, his steps also jumping with joy. Stay away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Stay away from busy work. Do something new that has never been attempted before. This is undoubtedly very relaxing and very comfortable. Especially when someone matches you with a carefree BGM. Bark, embrace time, carefree until old age, I was hit by youth on my waist. It wasn't until old age that I realized my lumbar disc was protruding and Lin Bei was screaming in pain. The carefree lyrics, before humming once, suddenly began to become unorthodox. Puff, cough, cough dot. Lu Tianxian was feeling cheerful when he heard the sound. He was immediately amused and burst into laughter. The chewed banana mixed with saliva sprayed the unscrupulous guy in front of him, covering his head and back. The accompanying director and camera also couldn't help but laugh, the camera trembling with suppressed laughter. Lu Lin turned back speechlessly and said, dot. Lu Tianxian wanted to say he was sorry, but seeing his melancholic expression, he was inexplicably poked and laughed a little again. He just laughed and said, pup, cough cough cough. Now, Lu Lin has been sprayed evenly before and after. The director and camera crew couldn't help but laugh back and forth when they saw this. Lu Tianxian laughed even louder, accompanied by trembling flowers. Happiness can be contagious. Although Lu Lin was speechless, he was also moved by their laughter and gradually became complacent. He licked around his mouth and said, TSK TSK, why is your banana sweeter than what I eat? Lu Tianxian's laughter stopped and was quickly replaced by shame and anger. Choking, the Han sword was unsheathed, and the heavenly immortal scolded, abnormal guy, suffer death. Dot. Don't move, real guy. I'm joking, I didn't lick your saliva, said Lu Lin as he ran away. Lu Tianxian became even angrier upon hearing this, and his pretty face turned red as he exclaimed, How dare you talk nonsense? I'll cut your tongue. Dot. Inside the CTV studio. Yang Mi looked at the scene in the Immortal Beast live room and laughed uncontrollably, saying, Ha ha ha, this iron and silly guy really has 10,000 ways to break through the defense at any time. Lu's mother also couldn't help but laugh. The young man loves to be funny, and Xi Shi and his partner have complimentary personalities. By the way, the song he just sang was leisurely, free and catchy, completely of golden quality. It should be very popular in theory, but why haven't I heard it before? This evaluation is too high, it's both the quality of the golden melody and the rightful popularity. The love for it is beyond words. Finally, she looked at Yang Mi and asked, Have you ever heard of Mi Mi? Yang Mi shook her head lightly and casually said, Maybe it's just a song of shaking hands and drooling. He can't tell where he heard it. This is called lying with her eyes open. In fact, she felt like a mirror in her heart, knowing that it must be Lu Lin's improvised original song. She has heard many original songs by Lu Lin in her book friend group, and any song she comes up with is of golden quality. If you have no place to reason, you just have talent. However, Lu's mother was also independent and did not get distracted by her big lies. She hesitated and said, it doesn't sound like the level of shaking hands and singing saliva. Zhu Chang, an expert in wilderness survival, said, in fact, he was able to praise Miss Lu by composing ancient rhymed long poems such as Sword and Weapon Journey. I think this song should also be his own original creation. Lu's mother nodded in agreement and said, yes, it's 90% original. He's really a talented young man. 
Speaking of which, Tsishi has been releasing albums all along. When she turned back to the show, I made an appointment with him to sing and further deepen our cooperation. Young Mi. What are you really afraid of? Iron Han Han was predetermined by me, can we not grab it? Who knows what the name of the song that the immortal beast just sang is, Lao Tai in front, listen to the songs and know the songs. I've tried it before, but I can't recognize it at all, even if I search for lyrics. Perhaps just like the poem Sword and Weapon Line, it was all improvised and original by himself, truly responsive and fitting to the occasion, which made people feel annoyed. No wonder he's so stubborn and silly. He's so chubby that he even appeared on the show. He's a serious and talented person, this immortal beast starts to sing halfway without being serious, it's really tempting. Whoever has a recording or audio, I want a single loop. You come down, I promise not to chop you to death. Dot. Don't go down, if you have the ability, come up. Dot. Under the coconut tree, Lu Tianxian held his Han sword and stared at it, while the great scholar was like a hairless monkey, almost climbing to the top of the coconut tree. Lu Tianxian couldn't climb trees and tried several times in a row, but couldn't climb very high. Then he slid down again and had to pick up a small stone and throw it up to smash the hairless talent. She had a good head, and Lu Lin was on the trunk of a tree, with nowhere to hide. Her buttocks were hit twice in an instant, causing a scorching pain. Don't run away, I'll smash your immortal face into a shoehorn. Lu Lin put down a harsh sentence and climbed up to the crown of the coconut tree, then released one hand and twisted out a coconut the size of a human head. Lu Tianxian is not foolish. Faced with such an iron and silly person who dares to do anything, how could he not run away and beg for mercy while running for his life? I was wrong, let's make it even. Such a big coconut, it would kill someone if it were smashed. Call me, brother, and I'll let you go. Go to hell. The witch is stubborn and lifeless, look at the magic weapon dot. Huh, bang, coconut roared and hit the sand, still four or five meters away from Lu Tianxian. But the big coconut fell to the ground with a bang, and the scattered sand and soil splashed up still frightened Lu Tianxian, causing him to jump three feet high in his escape speed to accelerate. The directing and filming staff were also startled and advised, Mr. Lu, this is too dangerous. Don't make any noise. Lu Lin said, she's not calling her brother. I have to smash her today. Look at the magic weapon again. Dot. Ha, bang, another coconut landed. Lu Tianxian was so scared that he trembled all over and ran faster. The director and cameraman were very anxious and said, Mr. Lu, it's really dangerous. Can we play something else? Lu Lin ignored it and continued to pick and throw coconuts, saying, where can the witch escape? Ha, huh, bang, a coconut falls to the ground. The directors and cameras looked at each other and stopped persuading. Because the three coconuts that Lu Lin threw consecutively all fell on the soft sand, it was obvious that he did not want to hit Lu Tianxian, but rather wanted to pick the coconuts for consumption, but was afraid of breaking them, so he threw them on the sand. But Lu Tianxian, who was only concerned about running for his life, didn't know that Tai Hanin was teasing her again. He heard the sound of coconut roaring behind him, one after another, and his whole body was frightened. You bastard. I'll surrender now. I'll call, don't throw it away. Brother dot. Not sincere, not pleasant to hear. Good brother. It sounds good, but not close enough. Older brother, ah, uh, my dear sister dot. Dot. May all book lovers find their good sisters or brothers. Hmm, so disgusting, eh, uh, end of this chapter. Chapter 9. Praise well, prohibit you from praising me in the future you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 9 Praise well, prohibit you from praising me in the future when Lu Lin and Lu Tianxian stood shoulder to shoulder and returned to the frame of the shack, it was already sunset. Lu Lin didn't have time to tease the heavenly immortal anymore. 
he put the coconut aside and began laying banana leaves on the bare frame of the shed. At the same time, instruct Lu Tianxian to pick up hay and firewood nearby. The two of them were busy with their respective tasks. As the sunset gradually fell into the sea, the sky became completely dark, and the moon emitted a cool radiance, slowly climbing up the branches. Lu Lin was nimble and had already laid banana leaves on the shed, not only covering the roof, but also covering the front, back, left, and right sides for wind protection. Finally, a relatively shallow water diversion ditch was dug around the shed, and the excavated soil was also padded onto the inside of the ditch, forming a small embankment. And Lu Tianxian has also picked up a large amount of hay and firewood, and dragged back a not too small withered tree, which has made Lu Lin even more impressed. I used to think that you could be successful all by your appearance, but now it seems that you have been successful for so many years and have always been at the top. It makes sense. Lu Lin raised his thumb and expressed appreciation. Lu Tianxian sat on a withered tree to rest, applying white medicine to the wounds on his hands. Upon hearing this, he couldn't help but say, I feel uncomfortable listening to it. Can you consider it a compliment? Lu Lin nodded and said, of course it's a compliment. After all, your acting skills are not good, and just relying on your appearance cannot make you so popular for so many years. Judging from my interactions with you today, you have a kind of resilience, which is rare. Lu Tianxian blinked his beautiful eyes and frowned, saying, am I not good at acting? Acting is not the key, what I'm saying is that you have a kind of resilience. Acting is the key. In the future, you are not allowed to praise me, I hate it. I used to call him, brother, so I hate it now. Go to hell. Lu Tianxian broke through his defense again, grabbed a handful of sand and threw it at Lu Lin in embarrassment. Lu Lin Guainer dodged and no longer teased her. He lowered his head and entered the shed, sticking to the left and right walls, laying two large banana leaves on the ground to isolate the tide. Then, he evenly spread the hay picked up by Lu Tianxian on two banana leaves, using the thick layer to absorb moisture while also being soft and gentle. Finally, spread two more banana leaves on the hay and make two small beds on the left and right. In the empty space in the middle of the shed, a shallow small fire pit is excavated with wooden stakes. The excavated soil is mixed with gravel to form a pond edge. Lu Lin used the remaining hay to start a fire in the fire pit, then added firewood, and the flames ignited. The inside of the hut suddenly warmed up. Lu Tianxian, carrying a coconut, also entered the shed and put down the banana leaf door curtain to prevent mosquitoes from entering. We haven't been busy all day, it's pretty good, he said she doesn't dislike simplicity, but she feels quite fresh and full of a sense of achievement. Wow, the banana leaf door curtain was lifted, and a cameraman crawled in and placed a live broadcast camera in the corner of the shed. Lu Lin stood up to help and exchanged pleasantries, Master, have you all worked hard all day? Have you eaten? The cameraman shook his head and said, Just like you too, I ate some snacks to cushion my stomach. Lu Lin quickly took out a cigarette, handed it over, and then lit it with his own hands. Thank you, thank you. We don't have much to do tonight. You guys, hurry up and go eat he said the cameraman was holding a cigarette in his mouth, and his liking for Lu Lin skyrocketed. He nodded with a smile and said, okay, you and teacher Lu can also rest. We'll be outside and call us anytime if there's anything. Okay, you guys have to worry too much. Lu Lin politely took it out of the shed and put down the banana leaf door curtain. Lu Tianxian shook his head and said, you just sent them away with just one cigarette. Lu Lin was stunned for a moment and said, what else can we do? Lu Tianxian said seriously, I have never participated in a reality show, but when I finish acting, I always give red envelopes to the crew members. Lu Lin suddenly said, that's the truth. When I finish the program, I'll give them all a red envelope. He spoke as he lifted a corner of the banana leaf curtain and glanced outside. 
Then, he walked up to the live broadcast camera in the corner of the shack, turned his back to the camera, and spoke silently to Lu Tianxian with his mouth, while gesturing wildly with both hands. Lu Tianxian was stunned for a moment, and then his beautiful eyes widened wide. Dot. Seeing her bewildered, Lu Lin had to silently open and close his mouth, and his hands gestured wildly, Lu Tianxian was stunned and his pretty face twitched, then he silently replied with a mouth shape and hand gestures. The two of them gestured back and forth for a long time, and finally, Lu Lin suddenly pulled out the eight-faced Han sword. Choking, with the Han sword in his hand, Lu Lin's mouth curled, perfectly replicating the crooked mouthed Dragon King with a wicked and arrogant charm. Lu Tianxian's pretty face gradually showed excitement as he looked at him with his hair in his mouth. To be honest, this is a bit of a drop in price, but it's also really exciting. She has never done it before. Even playing a role during filming, I have never done such a thing. What's wrong with the immortal beast blocking the camera, yeah, why did you still draw your sword? You're not trying to bully the heavenly immortal, are you he dares to bully the heavenly immortal, I'll kill him if there's no good news, that's right, Gao Pang, come and see what's going on. Inside the CTV studio. Lu's mother and Yang Mi, as well as survival expert Zhu Chang, are about to end their day of recording. After all, as the island entered darkness and the three groups of guests stopped going out, there was not much footage available, so they needed to comment and set it off. But at this moment, Lu Lin's abnormal behavior left the three of them puzzled, so they sat back in their seats. What is he blocking the camera for? Why is he still drawing his sword? Lu's mother frowned and spoke, probably thinking of going with her water friends, a bit worried about her own daughter. Yang Mi pursed her red lips and didn't dare to answer casually. She hesitated and said, it doesn't seem like a conflict anymore. Maybe we're discussing something. Although she has known Lu Lin for some time, she has been communicating online and Lu Lin has never known her identity, or even that she is a woman. She only interacts with her as a generous financial book friend. In short, she dare not assert whether Lu Lin's nature is good or bad. At the same time, in front of the overall monitoring of the filming team, director Gao Pang, who was having dinner, looked at the situation in the Immortal Beast live broadcast room, which was also full of black question marks. He put down his chopsticks and picked up the walkie-talkie, saying, the Immortal Beast team, hurry up and go to the shed to see. Before he could finish speaking, Lu Lin had already moved his steps and stopped blocking the camera. He smiled and said, I'll go out and take a dump. Hold my sword and be brave. After speaking, he crawled out of the shed. Gao Pang slammed his mouth and pressed the call button on the walkie-talkie, saying, you don't need to look anymore. It saves you a lot of trouble. It's Mr. Lu who's going to help. Ah. In the camera, Lu Tianxian suddenly jumped three feet high and screamed through the sky. Gao Pang was so scared that he was startled that he quickly changed his tone and said, Hurry up, hurry up. The Immortal Beast team should go and take a look in the shed. Miss Lu has an accident. P.S. What's wrong with the tickets? What about collecting it? End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Yang Mi. Is he your son or your son? In. Law. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 Yang Mi. Is he your son or your son? In. Law. Chapter 10 Not far from the shack, the directors and cameras who were eating had also heard Lu Tianxian screams. Without the need for director Gao Pang's reminder, a few people rushed to the shack to check, throwing down dishes and hurriedly roaring. But by the time they rushed into the shed, the heavenly immortal was no longer screaming, but still a bit frightened and explained, there's a snake, I don't know where it went. The directors and cameras suddenly realized it, but dared not neglect it. They immediately found a wooden stick and opened two banana leaf shops to search. There is only a big fart in the shed, which can be seen clearly at a glance. Apart from two banana leaf shops, there is no place to hide snakes. However, the directing cameras spread out two banana leaves and flipped the mixed hay upside down, 
but there was no trace of the snake. Teacher Lu, the snake may have already crawled out. I'll sprinkle some poisonous insect powder on this shed. Please rest assured. The female director in charge breathed a sigh of relief, comforting Lu Tianxian while taking out poisonous insect powder and scattering thick circles along the corners of the shed. Then, he handed the insect powder to a cameraman and asked him to sprinkle it outside the shed a few more times. Reality shows are ultimately just variety shows, not real life and death. Safety is still the top priority. Lu Tianxian repeatedly expressed gratitude and worked with the director and camera crew to lay two banana leaves on the ground, laying them out again. Mr. Lu has returned and picked up something. At this moment, the cameraman who was spreading poisonous insect powder outside seemed to have met Lu Lin, who had come back from defecation, and warmly greeted him. Lu Lin. The food I picked up next to me, along with half a box of beer. Camera. Uh, isn't this our dinner? Lu Lin. Really? You call it, does it agree? The sound went from far to near, then the banana leaf door curtain was lifted, and Lu Lin, with a sword between his waist and a large stainless steel basin in one hand and a beer box in the other, entered the shed with Sher Shiran. The directors and cameras inside the shed couldn't help but be stunned, and then their faces changed greatly. This iron fool has brought back all their dinner. I just heard my younger sister scream, what's the situation? Lu Lin put down the beer box and placed the stainless steel iron basin, which was filled with meat fragrance, by the fire pit. He asked knowingly. Lu Tianxian saw him return with a full load, and his acting skills on his pretty face almost collapsed. With strong pressure and excitement, he cooperated and said, snakes are coming in. Lu Lin suddenly said, don't be afraid, I'm here. If there's a snake, let's peel off its skin and roast the snake meat. Lu Tianxian nodded and said, mmm hmm. Lu Lin turned his eyes to look at the bewildered director and cameraman, and said with a smile, all right, there's nothing wrong. Let's go rest and eat, teachers. Director's camera. Dot. You brought back our dinner in a whole basin, and didn't leave a bottle of beer. Let's go back and have a hammer, okay? A few people looked at each other for a moment, then gave a glance to the female director in charge. The two cameras, with big arms and round waists, immediately attacked each other, one carrying a stainless steel basin and the other carrying a beer box. But I'm trying to grab dinner. Choking, the Han sword is unsheathed, and the cold light is chilling. With a curl of his mouth, Lu Lin remade the crooked mouth Dragon King, and said in a seductive and arrogant voice, Teachers, go rest and eat now. The real guy is in charge, he just has confidence. The two cameramen with big arms and round waists couldn't help but feel excited and quickly put down their beer and stainless steel basin, hesitating. The leading female director also grinned, but soon said helplessly, Mr. Lu, this is a bad rule. The program can't continue. Lu Lin raised his eyebrows and said, isn't survival in the wilderness like this? I rely on my abilities to snatch. Cough, the food and drink I picked up are bad rules. The female director suddenly fell silent. There's nothing wrong with this logic. Puhaha, this iron fool is too unconventional to play cards. No wonder he was chatting and handing cigarettes to the cameraman just now. It turned out he was inquiring about intelligence and trying to grab someone else's food, good guy. I'm direct, good guy. The trick is really deep. Amazing, the heavenly immortal actually cooperated with him in acting, and was led astray. Compared to him, the male guests from the other two groups are simply obedient babies. At the CTV studio, Lu's mother had already turned her worries into joy and couldn't help but say happily, stinky kid, there are so many devilish ideas. Cece is partnering with him, so we can eat and drink without any worries in the future, giggle. Young Mi was originally trembling with laughter, but upon hearing her playful and youthful affection, her laughter couldn't help but freeze. What and what, are you called a stinky kid? 
Is he your son or your son? In law? This iron silly is something I made up for myself. Hey! Before the overall monitoring of the filming team, Gao Pang placed his hand on his forehead and said regretfully, This guy is really not a good troublemaker. We should have been on guard against him long ago. The filming team members were also unable to laugh or cry, saying, Don't let the other two groups of guests know about this matter, otherwise, if you learn from others, you won't be able to do it. In the future, when the immortal beast group eats, it's best to send someone to take turns and come back to eat. Stay away from this guy. Chen Jia from the immortal beast group is not easy to get along with, I can't say she can lower him. I hope so. At the same time, Chen Jia, who had high expectations from the filming team and was the lead female director of the immortal beast group, was indeed trying to find a way to grab dinner. She didn't want to let Lu Lin break the rules, but her sharp tongues and sharp tongues couldn't match Lu Lin's twisted reasoning, which made her choke several times. Finally, with a bite of his teeth and a sideways expression, he signaled to the cameraman again. Be strong. Get dinner back. See if he dares to move, real guy. The two cameramen nodded, mustered the courage, and with a straight face, bent down to retrieve the beer in stainless steel basin again. Lu Tianxian saw this great urgency and said with a bitter and cute expression, don't be so heartless. It's really frustrating to have the food on my lips snatched back again. She wanted to stop her, but she didn't dare to reach out. These reality show cameramen, who were always running against equipment, had a first dot class physique and a round waist. Faced with such a strong man, not to mention that she couldn't stop him, Lu Lin's muscular figure appeared so slim compared to others. Can't she really use a sword to strike people? Hey, when I'm being bullied, right? Lu Lin glared angrily, flipped the hilt of his sword and inserted it onto the ground. Without waiting for two photographers to pick up the beer in stainless steel basin, he took the lead and grabbed their necks. Then, like lifting a small chicken, he picked up the two of them one by one, turned around, lifted the banana leaf door curtain with his feet, and threw it out of the shed. Lu Tianxian. Dot. Director's camera. Dot. This iron fool is also too wild. Did he grow up eating big balls? Pop pop, Lu Lin seemed to casually throw away garbage, clapping his hands and hooking the corner of his mouth again. He said with a wicked and arrogant tone, three teachers, are you going out to rest and eat on your own? Or should I send you off? Good dot. The three of them were horrified, their throats throbbing, and they all swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Then, Chi Chi lowered his head and crawled out of the shed in a disheveled manner. Heroes don't suffer immediate losses. P.S. Keep up the good work, collect the tickets, they are really important. End of this chapter.